Hi, my name is Steve, and you're watching the Life and Sad Ending channel. Today we're going to talk about the life and sad ending of Elizabeth Montgomery. Elizabeth Montgomery was born April 15th in 1933 in Los Angeles, California. Later, she moved to New York and attended the Spence School. She also attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Elizabeth's father was Robert Montgomery, the famous movie actor, and she first appeared in his TV program, Robert Montgomery Presents. Later, she had memorable roles on The Twilight Zone, The Untouchables, and Rawhide, as well as being in a few movies like Who's Been Sleeping in My Bed? I think Dean Martin was in that. Later on in her career, she did parts like uh, Lizzie Borden. That was a famous TV movie that she made. And I had read somewhere that she was actually related to uh, Lizzie Borden. Uh, maybe I've got that wrong. If I do, leave it in the comments. I do make mistakes. She was also in A Case of Rape, The Awakening Land, and strangely enough, she was also in a movie called A Killing Affair with O.J. Simpson. One of my favorite films she did later was a TV movie with Kirk Douglas and Ray Walston. It was called Amos. It was sort of a version of Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, only this time in a nursing home. It's a great movie if you haven't seen it, and you can check it out on YouTube. I think I've seen it on there. Of course, Elizabeth Montgomery was most famous for playing Samantha Stevens in the long-running sitcom Bewitched. And during her career, she received five Emmy nominations. You know, they just recently tore down the Bewitched house at the old Columbia Ranch. They later was bought up by Warner Brothers. And they just completely, the whole ranch there, the whole neighborhood that you've seen in countless films and TV shows, it's all been leveled now, even the Bewitched house. It's actually very sad. And I believe Elizabeth was married four times to a Frederick Kamen, Gig Young, the actor, as well as director William Asher, who was the producer and director of the Bewitched program, and later in life, Robert Foxworth. It was actually a good thing she didn't stay with Gig Young because he ended up killing his wife and himself in the 1970s. And during the time that Elizabeth was doing Bewitched, I believe she had three children during the run of the show, and they often had to find ways to disguise her pregnancies and they did that on shows like on The Lucy Show or Bewitched. They would have the actress carrying a large package or wearing a heavy coat. Sadly, Elizabeth Montgomery suffered from colon cancer and battled it for quite some time. She thought she had a beat, but when it reoccurred, she decided to live out her days at her home in Beverly Hills. She died on May 18, 1995. She was only 62 years old. She was cremated at the famous Pierce Brothers Westwood Village Memorial Cemetery. The same cemetery where Marilyn Monroe and Dean Martin were laid to rest. Elizabeth owned a nearly 800-acre estate in New York State. After her death, the estate was sold and turned into a park. Elizabeth was only 62, but she wasn't the only cast member who died at a relatively young age. Dick York died of emphysema. He was only 63, dying on February 22, 1992. The second Dick, Dick Sargent, died of prostate cancer at the age of 64 on July 8, 1994. And you know, there were actually two Mrs. Kravitz. The first was Alice Pierce. She also died at the very young age of 48 on March 3, 1966. Later, she was replaced by Sandra Gould. Thanks for watching my video. It's a little bit of a different format, and I sure would appreciate it if you hit the like button and share it and subscribe if you're not. Till I see you next time.